The company formerly known as Schlumberger, the largest oil and gas services firm in the world, digital transformation, energy transformation, maybe we'll talk a little bit of AI. Olivier Lepouche is the CEO and he joins us now. Olivier, thank you for Thank you. Us. Really appreciate that. So the price of oil is up today. What is the relationship for your investors watching between the price of oil and, and your business? Because I would view you as maybe the ultimate leading indicator of the energy economy. I mean, we, we look, you need to look at the pricing as an indicator of future demands. And I think our demands, our view on the demand of oil, demand of gas, is very positive for the rest of the decades. And it has constructive implication onto uh, the longevity, the strength, and the breadth of the cycle. And I think we benefit from longevity of the cycle, we benefit from our exposure international market, which is where the investment is rotating to fit and to supply this demand that we see forward. So oil price going up, it could only be indicative of stable investment opportunity for our uh, customers, resulting into us being uh, exposed to technology integration and activity of take international market. Even the International Energy Agency, which has been a little more bearish, they just raised their demand forecasts, I think probably reluctantly, for this year and for next year. So it sounds like you're pretty optimistic yeah. about, about energy, oil and gas demand. I, I think I, I am because I think it has been for a long time and for decades, a direct correlation between uh, the economic growth energy intensity and oil and gas demand. And I think this has, over time, two factor of efficiency transformed, yeah. and, uh, but the energy system is still in place, still use oil and gas as the basis for fueling this energy growth, this demand growth, and we are very pleased to be associated with that and preparing on the cha next chapter in new energy at I the think same you, time. You, you stole my next question, Olivier, because you know, John, my good friend John Fort, we're talking about NVIDIA today, we're talking about AI, artificial intelligence, the growth of data centers, the growth of energy demand. And it, what's amazing is what I'm learning here, and it sounds like what you're saying, please confirm, that companies like SLB, we think of them as energy, but you're also kind of an AI play, I would, I think. We are a technology company at, at the core. Our DNA is sounds, technology, innovation and we have a global footprint. So we use these two to develop our balance, what we call our balance strategy. Coal and gas, developing the performance, the efficiency, the next level of recovery, digital, and creating this as a vehicle for efficiency, capital efficiency, operational performance, and next level of transformation of the way we work, and new energy. And digital is the domain where we had invested for the last 30 years. We have, I think we have, we didn't miss the cloud transformation, we didn't miss the AI transformation, and AI is becoming the X factor, as we call it, of digital transformation in our industry. It's breaking new, new paradigm, the paradigm yeah. of digital operation being autonomously run, automated, and creating new benchmark of performance when we introduce it.